Several hundred protesters gathered in central Kiev on Wednesday to demand answers about the whereabouts of their loved ones who are missing in action. Protesters stood for several hours, waving banners of military brigades and holding photos of their missing relatives. The mostly female protesters expressed frustration over what they said was the government's poor communication and lack of clarity regarding the fate of their loved ones who went missing while fighting Russia's full-scale invasion. Lack of responsibility in action from our government brought me here today, said Kitsiak Karina, whose husband is missing in action. We want our government to hear us and our president to pay attention to this problem, she added. Some protesters said excessive bureaucracy and the government's reluctance to disclose the true scale of Ukraine's losses on the battlefield were to blame for the lack of answers. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has partially revealed his five-point plan aimed at prompting Russia to end the war through negotiations. A key element would be a formal invitation into NATO, which Western backers have been reluctant to consider until after the war ends. Zelensky outlined the plan to Ukraine's parliament on Wednesday without disclosing confidential elements that have been presented in private to key allies, including the United States. Я дуже сподіваюся на те, що наш пан президент дуже розумна людина і може все прорахувати так, що після закінчення війни всі полонені та загиблі будуть повернуті. Я думаю, що 100% на 100% з нашого боку і з того боку задля упокоєння всіх душ і відповідно для заспокоєння душ безвісти зниклих людей. Для того, щоб рідні могли вже точно знати, що з їхніми близькими. Тому я сподіваюся, що цей план миру все ж таки допоможе повернути всіх рідних додому, живими або мертвими. Сьогодні мене привела на Майдан безвідповідальність нашої влади, бездіяльність нашої влади. Ми хочемо, щоб наша влада нас почула, щоб наш президент, зокрема, звернув увагу на таку проблему. Бюрократія має місце, але в першу чергу вони приховують реальні втрати. В першу чергу вони приховують полонених, вони приховують те, що вони не відправляють. Вони кажуть, так, ми відправляли евакуацію, евакуація, евакуація, але еваків немає. President Volodymyr Zelensky presented Ukraine's much-debated victory plan at Parliament on October 16. The proposal is comprised of five points, an invitation to join NATO, a defense aspect, deterrence of Russian aggression, economic growth and cooperation, and post-war security architecture, according to Kyiv Independent. If the plan is supported, we can end the war no later than next year, Zelensky said in the parliament in the presence of Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Sursky, Military Intelligence Chief Kirill Budinov, and Western diplomats. Ukraine's invitation to join NATO was placed at the top of the list. Kyiv submitted its application to join in September 2022 but has yet to receive a clear signal from the Allies. Zelensky said that the step should be taken now, representing a shift from his earlier comments that the move might be delayed until the end of the war. The second article stresses the need to bring the war to Russian territory, 
such as during the cross-border Kursk incursion launched in early August. This item also calls for lifting restrictions on long-range strikes in Russia, additional supplies of long-range capabilities, and Western support in downing Russian missiles and drones over Ukraine. The third point refers to non-nuclear deterrence and includes a secret part. Ukraine is proposing a comprehensive non-nuclear strategic deterrence package on its territory that would safeguard the country against future aggression. The fourth part addresses Ukraine's use of its natural resources, such as uranium, titanium, and lithium, which present economic growth potential for Kyiv and the EU. Ukraine is offering a special agreement on joint investment and use of these resources with the EU and the US. The part also calls for ramping up international sanctions against Russia to undermine its ability to sustain its aggression. The fifth part relates to Ukraine's post-war security architecture. Kyiv boasts a large and experienced military force that should strengthen NATO and the European continent, Zelensky said.